a decision to make here. What decision? The race is over. The race, yeah, maybe. That's not why we came here, is it? What are you suggesting? Glenn told us not to land. No, he advised us. It's not the same thing. We're a spacecraft underway. So, Antoine, this plan that you and Mikhail have to uh, bypass the main circuit boards, is this something that we think can work for a burn? Hard to say. And we're still far from a complete backup system. Well, I'm just talking about bypassing the NTR controls. That we can complete the whole backup system on our crew's home. Can't we? It's a possibility. But I think Glenn's recommendation makes sense. No, it makes no sense at all. I spent 11 months in this stinking malfunctioning hulk. Also, I could spend a few days doing science on Mars. I want to land. I want to do my work. Okay, so what about the rest of us? said during the Apollo project we choose to go to the moon not because it is easy but because it is hard because it is a goal that will organize and measure the best of our skills and our energies because it is a challenge that we are willing to accept and unwilling to postpone Okay. 
you. If it fails, the loop one of our orbit could intersect the planet's surface. They'd probably see the explosion from Earth. Hey, maybe they'll name the crater after us. Four, three, two, one, eagle. Engine cut off, confirmed. Mars capture. Houston, Terranova, we have achieved orbit. that we are not. In either case, the idea is quite staggering. Arthur C. Clarke. Good one, Mikhail. Yeah, good writer. And the inventor of the telecommunication satellite. And not even Russian. Yeah, not even Russian. Didn't he also say that Mars has no mountains? No, sounds like Mars. But that was a long time ago. Nobody's perfect, huh? We're supposed to be. It's a big responsibility, Rodoshka. More like a lot of pressure. I just want to do my job without it having galactic significance. Look out there. All that God has made That is good. Compared to that, our problems are nothing. Like us, they're weightless. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice smile. Just like my mama. Talking with Gagarin in 90 minutes. Those of us in the trenches, though, we think you made the right call. Given the time delay, by the time you hear this, I will be in the mission support room helping load champagne into the coolers. I can say you make us proud, but you already have. We'll see you on Mars. Houston out. Confirmation that solar panels are fully retracted. We are go for docking. All right. Time to hitch a ride. that the data from the orbiters indicate that a dust storm may be heading toward the landing site. 
So I have decided to cut our rest period from the schedule so that we can make our descent a day early. Gotta say, none of us is much in the mood for resting at this point anyway. Terranova, I mean Gagarin, out. Grandparents were Jews at a very difficult time. And it was not so easy for my grandparents or parents either, so... Today, on the first night of Hanukkah, as I step onto Mars, I will be Jewish forever. <laughs> Did you bring anything special to carry with you? Yep. Picture of my dog. <laughs> that is good. I'm sure you'll make him very happy.
Vous me devez une autre manière. Love, c'est vos meilleurs. Para toda la gente del mundo. We are the first to come to Mars. We will, we will not, not be, be the last. last. Here they come. Taxi. <laughs> right on time, Jackie. All right, we still have some time before that storm reaches us. Jackie and Hiromi, you'll come with me to check the hab. Everybody else, just like the Sims, 200 meters upwind of our exhaust to collect contingency signals. Copy that. Copy that. Is there any way to deploy the leg manually? Checking. And if we can't force it down, we'll have to move to contingency. <sighs> That's the mission from 60 souls to 10. Yeah, and working from the Gagarin. And there's something to look forward to. Yeah. Bringing up the landing gear diagrams. Or can the plucky girl engineer fix the bothersome leg, save the day, and win the thanks of a grateful planet? Right, plan C. I go for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone. Let's get back to work. All right. I'm gonna need some extra hands to force it. You know, it should lock into position, okay? Rip. I'm gonna pull this down here. Copy here that. Me. I'm gonna push here when I purge the gas line. Got it. All we need to do is ease it down. All right. Now, 
Just a second. Okay, let's try again. All right, on my three, two, one, four. <laughs> not embedded in the arm. Attach a shoulder ring. Hey, Romy, listen to me. Okay. All right? You're gonna have to be really still. This is really gonna hurt. Just do it. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Now, take a deep breath. I'm ready. Ready? Ready. 
Good, 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 good. Breathe in, breathe in. Good. Today is the big day. Happy birthday, Adam. 11 years old. My God, you're going to be shaving by the time I get home. Uh, they finally uploaded the recording of your Christmas assembly. <laughs> Very funny. You, you, I mean, in the parts where you were supposed to be funny, <laughs> you were great. Um, we've been pretty busy up here. I guess you know that. Uh, but today, of course, you know that today was also your grandpa's birthday. You know, he always said that you were the best present that he ever got, and you were. So today, uh, after I finish my work, I'm gonna do something special for the two of you. So you look up here tonight, and uh, I'll be the guy in the spacesuit waving back at you. I love you, son. Happy birthday.
there above the horizon, just between Saturn and Phobos. Dinosaurs, the Roman Empire, rainforests, every book that's ever been written, everyone we've ever loved. This is all my father ever dreamt of. Seeing the Earth from another world. Sleep tight, son. Civilizations are either spacefaring or extinct. Easy. Carl Sagan. <laughs> My turn. There is life on Mars, and it is us. Are you kidding me? Hmm? You know me. No, wise guy. Our fellow Martian, Ray Bradbury. The Vanguard mission of 16 proved there was some kind of simple life on Mars. But the big question is how did it get here? Did life arise here independently? Or was it contaminated by spores from space? <sighs> Haven't we heard this spory? That's Ben Spermia 101. Exactly. Life seeded by meteorites from another world. Or even an impact on Earth that blasted rocks all the way out here. And what if it was the other way around? If life arose here first, and an impact blasted Martian rocks to our planet? Well, then we're all Martians. We know one of us is. Atlantis, Kiviok, come back. Uh, go ahead, Lucia, we copy. Uh, we're good to go here. How's the telemetry? Telemetry's online. Kiviok, Atlantis, we confirm you're good to go. Copy that. Mikhail, you wanna start it no, up? No, be my guest, Ludochka. You can tell your dog that you're the first one to ever dig a hole on Mars. He'll be very jealous. <laughs> I'll be honored, my friend. Till the sending. Oh, there is nothing. 
nothing. It's like a shower once a week. Whether you need it or not. No. Someday, they are going to build a hotel here so that tourists can drive here to see this historic site on weekends and holidays. We'll pay a Martian dollar. We'll walk to the Mars hub. And they will not believe how we survived in these conditions. You Russians are such romantics. Yes, we are. And so are you, Lucio. Think about it. We have risked our lives every day just to find water. Because water means life. Life, Lucia. So that future generations will be able to make their own oxygen, grow crops in greenhouses, build cities. And maybe even take two showers a day, whether they need it or not. You cannot fool me, Lucia, because I know that you are a very sensitive girl underneath that hard shell of yours. Repeat that to anyone and I'll have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> short obviously makes things more difficult, means more work all around, but so far everyone is picking up the slack without comment or complaint, even Antoine. I'm very pleased about that. Rick is doing more than his share of extra shifts to make up for Hiromi. So far he's holding up well. His will and stamina are extraordinary. Nevertheless, I'm watching him closely. We're having the usual stuff. Drill bits wearing down, things like that. But the big problem is the dust. It gets in everything. So things jam and fail faster than we anticipated. In fact, a lot faster. We're already running low on some parts, so now I'm getting concerned about our supplies. It's the big boss. That can't be good. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I don't want to alarm you, but I figure you should hear the bad news right away. We just decrypted the latest telemetry from the Chinese lander. It reached water. We'll send you the data and more info as we get it, but looks like they beat us to the punch. Oh. Whatever they find doesn't matter. If there's life, we'll still be the first to take it back home. Well, let's check your arm, see if we can't change it for a lighter cast. discharge.
copy. Go ahead, Rick. Mikhail and I are on site. Okay, good. So, what's the diagnosis on the drill? Can we do a patch up? Well, if we can find the hardware store, the electronics look totally fried. So that's it. And I have some more good news. Our last motor was also destroyed. The data's in for ground control. Look at that. That's gotta be sterile. What? What is it? Rick, Lucy and I are just looking at the data from the Chinese sample. It's loaded with calcium chloride. Okay, meaning? Meaning it's saltier than the Dead Sea. You could walk on that stuff. Hiram is right. It's highly unlikely life could exist in that water. So what? We won't have any better luck. We have no drill. Of course we do. I know where we can find one. Cheap. Madam Secretary General, Madam Prime Minister, all three Mr. Presidents. It's important that you understand that we are not naive in making this request. No major voyage of discovery has ever been free of political motive, and we certainly understand that. But people have been dreaming of going to Mars for centuries. And so we put it to you that this expedition can be different. Because this world that we have come to is different. You are all leaders of great nations, but on Mars there are no borders. Only six human beings representing everyone. Not far from us, the dreams of another country have also been cut short. And so today we are requesting that you transcend politics. And ask not what you can do for your own countries, but what you can do for all the world. 